Hey guys, it's Shiv from Polygon Motion and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about five very, very important things in After Effects that you have to know uh, if you're an After Effects user, if you're a beginner, if you're if you're an... It doesn't matter, but but most of the artists who are experienced in After Effects as well, they are not knowing somehow these these tools, these, these, these kind of tiny uh, tools that helps you to speed up your work in After Effects and... Uh, and, and, and by doing these kind of things, you save too much time and you can get a very professional result in After Effects. So, and I'm trying to, and I'm trying to keep this tutorial as short as possible. And uh, we are going to explain each uh, one of these tools straightforward uh, to keep this tutorial short. So, guys, here. I'm an After Effect, and you see that I have a bunch of composition, five composition that I'm going to explain each one of these tools into separate compositions to, to, to help you guys understand these these tools uh, perfectly. So the first composition, as you see, is called Smooth. I have I've, I've created text and uh, background, and so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the the smooth animation technique in After Effect. If you're a beginner, you might know that. Uh, if uh, when you create a keyframe, you have to change the interpolation of the keyframe. So, so if I play this, a quick RAM preview in here, you see that I have a very choppy and crispy, or whatever you call it, animation in After Effects that it doesn't look very professional and it doesn't look very smooth, doesn't have any inter keyframe interpolation. So, uh, if you know the Easy Ease technique or Easy Ease interpolation you might you might say so, so just change the keyframe to easy ease so i'm going to do that if i press u you see that i have a very simple animation if i select these two keyframes and right click you see a bunch of options here so in here in keyframe assistant you see three options easy ease easy ease in and easy ease out you might know that i don't want to explain each one of them but easy ease in is uh, creating inner point a stronger inner point and easy ease out is for um, outer point. For example, if I go to select this keyframe, I have to uh, use easy ease in, and if I uh, select this keyframe, I have to use easy ease out. But the cool thing here is that you can uh, select both of them and choose easy ease for both a keyframe to uh, to change their interpolation uh, to easy ease. So if I click here, now if I play this, you see that it's it's looking good. It's looking good, but but not perfect. If you want to control this, 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 this keyframe interpolation, if you want to control the curve of this uh, th this animation, you have to use graph editor, guys. And uh, for most of the time, most of the artists just 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 changing these interpolations to easy ease, and they are not using curve editor. Curve editor is a, is is a, is, is a must, in my opinion, because it it, it allows you to control the animation. With curves and and give the animation more energy, more force to 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 uh, create a very smooth animation. So if I select these uh, two keyframes and go to here graph editor, you see that I have a very nice graph in here. And by changing these these two these two uh, dots me, uh, represent my keyframes. And these if 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 I change the the distance of the uh, this dot you see in here, if I go back. You see that my I've changed my keyframe, and that represents my keyframes. So if I select these two and go to Graph Editor, I can change this by Bezier. For example, if I, you see that when I change this, the position of my keyframe is not changing. Just the way that the animation is happening is changed by uh, changing these Bezier keyframe. For example, if I change this here and change the Bezier curve of this keyframe like this, if I go back, you see that the position is is, is not changing. I, I didn't change the position of the keyframes. I changed the way the ha animation is happening. If I play this, you see that. These two keyframes are looking like before. The, uh, it, it doesn't have, we didn't change the position, but the way of animation is changing. You see that. And it's very cool. You see that it, it it's comes very fast and, and, and just smooth out. And you can do the opposite of that. You can do, for example, like this, or, or maybe both part, like this. And you can do a bunch of other cool stuff in here. 
that I found that I I think they're very helpful. You see that you can you can you can create different kinds of things. You can create points and other things that I don't want to explain graphics or now, but. The first thing that I, 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 I think you should know is to change your keyframe to easy ease and then use graph editor to uh, create a professional, to create a smooth looking animation. So that was the first thing that you should know in After Effects. The second thing here is separating dimension of position. If I go to this square, you see that I have a position and you can change uh, the, the position of X and Y position here separately, but they are not in separate parameter. They are not in separate uh, properties. They are in they are just this position is array an array of these two uh, axes. If I, for example, if I uh, animate this, you see that I can animate this in X and Y position separately. But the problem is if I change this to uh, easy ease and go to graph editor you see that we can we can control the position you can control the curve here by a speaker but if I right click and go to edit value graph you see that in value graph I can't actually uh, control these two separate parameters maybe you need sometimes in in, 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 in projects you mean you, you may you may need to to change the specific axis separately so how can we do that the the thing here is that so most of the After Effects user don't know uh, this tool. So if I right click in here in position and in here you, you see that we have separate dimensions. If I click on this, you see that now we have separate dimensions for X and Y. And if I, I don't want to, for example, I don't want the keyframe for Y, I just want keyframe for, let's create keyframe again in here for X position. I can simply control this individually and it, it's it's very cool for most of the complex project that you have for example character rigging character animation it helps you a lot and if I select this and go to graph editor now we are in edit value graph and what edit value graph does uh, what, uh, maybe you you ask what is what are the differences between value and speed graph the value graph gave you more uh, control. You can control your uh, curve more and in different shape, and 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 and, and uh, it gives you more flexibility uh, than it is a speed uh, graph. So if I change this, you see that I can just control the amount of the exposition in here, and that is very cool. So if I, you see that you can control and give it more flexibility and more a smoothness that is very cool so let me and if I play this you see that now it's very smooth and we can control here you can separate dimensions of a position array property in After Effects by right clicking on position and selecting separate dimensions so the next thing the third thing is cropping comp. Maybe you want to crop your comp size. Uh, and uh, for example, if I want to crop this comp size to be uh, in exact same size of this rectangle, how can we do that? Maybe you say go to composition, composition setting, and edit uh, and, and change the value until you uh, get the perfect result. And actually, it's working, it's fine. But there is a very fast technique for cropping comp size than this manual changing. So if I go to, and here we have a tool call, called Region of Interest. If I select this, and now you can see that I, I can create, uh, I can draw a rectangle or I can draw a region. If I select this and draw a region of interest in here, for example, to contain just the size. so. Now we have that, and if I play this or, or just anything else, my comp size is remaining in this size. But how can we crop the comp size? You see, I don't want to see this black this black screen in here. So for for this, just select your so just draw your region of interest and go to composition. And in here we have something called crop comp to region of interest. If I click on this, you see that now we have the exact same comp 
as we select it as 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 we draw uh, a region a region or rectangle and th this is the best way to crop your comp by drawing your region of interest so the next thing that i'm going to talk about that you should know is close and open pad for example if you want to have just half of this circle m maybe you say that you can uh, apply an effect called wipe and uh, just add this and make it like this and now you have the half of your circle <laughs> yeah it's working it's good but we want to have the pad we want to change the pad and we want to have the exact same path in this shape how can we do that for example if i go to ellipse and here if i convert to this to busier path we have the spine if i change this and here you see that it's closed it's a close pad if i delete this it's just closing how can we get rid of this 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 closing pad this this uh, line in here to have this kind of a half circle uh, shape so if you if i select these two uh, point this uh, these two vertices and right click and go to mask shape and pad there is a thing called closed now it is on and if I click on this you see that now we have an open shape and we can control this vertices separately and uh, now it's going to work and most of the most of the uh, people most of the beginners are trying to 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 recreate this shape with 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 the uh, pen tool for example they are start drawing like this and this you can do that but it takes a lot of time to create a perfect uh shape for most of the complex shapes for example we can add two uh, different uh, vertices in here and select these two and now we have this kind of shape you see that it's very easy to uh, create complex shapes with this technique so that was from uh, our open and close path the the last thing that you should know in After Effects and it's very important most of the beginner don't know how to convert a text to a shape for example if I want to change shape of this text how can we do that how can we now we have a, a, a text layer we're not able to to change uh, this uh, shape of this text or, or having vertices in, in each letter how can we do that the, it's very very easy if I if I select this and go to layer and change this to you have two options create shapes from text and create mask if you want to create mask you can select this tool and if you want to create shapes that we are going to select this now you can create you can convert your uh, test a text to shapes now you see that we have the original text in here that is invisible and we have a converted outline that is very cool if i go to continent in here you see that i have different shapes pixel perfect letters uh, has shape uh, in here and i can do bunch of things bunch of bunch of uh, other things that for example i have a path in here i can change this like this maybe animating that and things like that and it's 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 a life-saving uh, technique that most of the be beginner don't know this th this technique so guys that was from this tutorial uh, i know that maybe some of you guys know some of these tools but still there are some people some beginner after effect users that don't know these kind of things and and i thought that it's going to be a very helpful tutorial for these guys as well if you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to polygon motion channel and put your uh, comment below in the comment section and if you have any suggestion or, or, or uh, any tutorial that you want me to create, just put your uh, suggestion on comment section. And uh, don't forget to check out other Polygon Motion tutorials. My name is Richard Shayer, and see you guys next time.